Hey guys, in this project I'll show you how you can build an all-in-one ESP32 weather station shield and display the sensor readings on a web server. The web server displays data from all the sensors and automatically updates the readings every 10 seconds, without the need to refresh the web page. If you want to know how to do this, continue watching this video. This video was sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a well-known PCB prototype company in China. It specialized in quick PCB prototype and small batch production. You can order a minimum of 10 PCBs for just $2. If you want to turn your breadboard circuits into real boards and make your projects look more professional, you just have to upload the Gerber files to order high-quality PCBs for low prices. We'll show you how to do this later on in the video. To build this project you need some resources. All of these are available to download at randomnerdtutorials.com. To build this project I've designed the PCB for the ESP32 Dev Kit V1 Do It Board. The PCB I've built only works with a version with 30 GPIOs. I've designed this PCB to be a compact weather station. The PCB has a lot of features so that it can suit a lot of different projects for different applications. In fact, I didn't use all the PCB features in this project. This shield contains two SMD LEDs, one push button, one trim pot, a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, a BMP barometric sensor, an LDR, a micro SD card module. Additionally, I've also added two terminal blocks that give you access to three GPIOs to connect other components. The micro SD card is an interesting addition to the shield. It can be used to store readings if you want to build a data logger, or it can store an HTML file to serve a web page, as we'll do in this project. Before designing the shield, I've assembled a circuit on a breadboard. If you don't want to make a PCB, you can follow this project and assemble the circuit on a breadboard. Just follow this schematic diagram. After making sure the circuit was working properly, I've designed a PCB version on KiCad, which is an open source software used to design PCBs. I won't explore how I've designed the PCB, but I provide all the files if you want to modify the PCB yourself. You don't need to know how to design the PCB in order to get one. You just have to go to the resources and download the Gerber files. Then, go to glcpcb.com Click the Quote Now button and upload your .zip file with the Gerber files. You'll see a success message at the bottom, and you can use the Gerber Viewer link to check if everything went as expected. You can see the top and bottom of the PCB. You can view or hide the solder mask, silk screen, copper, and so on. With the default settings you can order 10 PCBs for just $2. However, if you want to select other settings, like a different PCB color, it will cost you a few more dollars. When you're happy with your order, click the Save to Cart button to complete the order. My PCBs took one day to be manufactured and they arrived in 5 business days using DHL delivery option. After a week I've received my PCBs at my office. As you can see everything came well packed and I also received the pen from GLC PCB. Taking a closer look at the PCBs, I must say that I'm really impressed with the quality. I don't think you can get a better PCB service at this price. The next step was soldering the components to the PCB. I used SMD LEDs and SMD resistors. I know it's a bit difficult to solder SMD components, but they can save you a lot of space on the PCB. I've also soldered the other pins to attach the ESP32 and the other sensors. This way I can easily replace the sensors if needed. Here's a list of all the components you need to assemble the PCB. The next step is writing the code to read the sensors and build the web server. The code for this project is divided in two parts. The code in the Arduino ID to read the sensors and host the web server, and an HTML file to build a web page. 
This HTML file should be saved in the microSD card. Copy the code provided to the Arduino IDE. The code for this project is a bit long, but it's fairly easy to understand. I've also added various comments along the code. Before uploading the code, you need to modify these two variables to add your SSID and password. Then, press the upload button to upload the sketch to your ESP32. Make sure you have the right board and COM port selected. Copy the HTML file to your microSD card and insert the microSD card in the SD card module. Now everything should be ready. Open the serial monitor at a baud rate of 11.5200 and check the ESP IP address. Open your browser, type the IP address and you should see a table with the latest sensor readings. The web server displays the DHT, BMP, potentiometer and LDR readings, as you can see. The readings are updated every 10 seconds without the need to refresh the web page. For these, we use Ajax. As you can see here, Ajax is a developer's dream because it can update the web page without reloading the page, request and receive data from a server after the page is loaded, and send data to a server in the background. By the end of this project, you have your own ESP32 weather station web server and all the hardware is well compact on a PCB. However, there's a small problem with our pin assignment. Currently, the Arduino Wi-Fi library uses GPIO4 that is connected to the LDR, so you can take any readings from the LDR when you use the Wi-Fi library. To make it work, you can solder a wire from the LDR to another available GPIO. There's still room to improve this project, you can use the extra terminals to connect other sensors or a relay. As always, you can find all the resources for this project at randomnerdtutorials.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.